the No Fate channel, checking in. And what do I have here on this episode of Dad's Home Gym? I am reviewing the Titan Fitness Functional Trainer after using it for over a month. On this series, I simply review a piece of home gym equipment to help you decide if it is something that you should bring into your home gym and most importantly, if it's worth your hard, hard, hard earned money. So if this is uh, your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Don't be shy, I'm not gonna bite. It's 2020, we know what's happening with your local gyms. Many of them have been shut down temporarily. Some have reduced hours. Many of them have been shut down never to reopen. And even more of them, unfortunately, already know that they're not gonna be renewing their leases, like the Warhouse Gym in Reading, Pennsylvania, that famous East Coast gym. And so even though you might be training at a local gym, you might find yourself on the street looking for a new gym and really wish you had built out your home gym. So that's why I do these reviews, because I really think that home gyms are so important and there's so much stuff out there it's hard to get a good feel of what's going to be right for your home gym and for your budget because we know this stuff isn't free so listen we're going to talk about cost we're going to talk about my personal experience using this over the past month we're going to touch briefly on installation we're going to talk about pros and cons the attachments and where this is going to break down we're going to talk about maintenance and finally we're really going to talk about if this is going to be worth your hard-earned money the reason I'm starting with cost is because that's usually the number one indicator of why people are going to purchase a product. This comes in at $2,000 at Titan Fitness, um, and then it gives you free shipping. And why is that important? So many of the competition with regards to these functional trainers, the low ball price tends to be around $2,000. And then when you go to check out, you realize you've got to pay $150 extra dollars to get that you know, 600 pound piece of equipment mailed to you right so that it's kind of gets you at the end that's one of the claims to fame with titan fitness is that they do free shipping on everything whether you order a jump rope or a 45 pound plate the shipping price is included with the initial cost you will have to pay tax if there is tax in your state so for two thousand dollars this is really going to be on the low end of any functional trainer you're going to find that's what Titan Fitness does. They are usually the bottom rung of cost with regards to fitness equipment. I will say that is good and bad. I've reviewed some of their products, didn't like them. I reviewed a lot of their products and love them. So that's why I do these reviews because even though that they're low on cost, some of their products have higher value than others. If you are interested in picking up this Titan Fitness functional trainer, I'm gonna put an affiliate link in the description below. Click on the link, it does help out the channel, it does help me out, and it does give me a reason to do these reviews. Full disclosure, I always am 100% honest when I provide uh, a link or an affiliate link that I tend to get a kickback on. What I will say is that you're probably gonna find that it's on back order. Every piece of gym equipment is typically on back order if you can even order it. Most of the stuff I see just says out of stock. Titan Fitness is pretty good about allowing you to order it in advance, pay up front, and then you get it in when you get it in. But I will say with regards to the date that they provided me, they bettered that date by two full weeks. So I was actually happy with you know them providing a pretty far out date and then bringing it back in. So hopefully when you're watching this video and you click on that link, you will see it's either in stock or it's going to be shipping relatively soon. As far as shipping very quickly, they are going to ship it to a third party distributor and they're gonna call you and schedule for a delivery. It comes in a big crate. I have an entire video dedicated to the installation process, the do's and the don'ts. If you're interested in that, I'll link it at the end of the video and put that in the description as well. If you are gonna buy this piece of equipment, definitely watch that video and save yourself some headache with regards to the installation process. As you're watching today's review video, please drop any questions you have regarding the Titan Fitness functional trainer in the comments below. I will get them answered immediately. So my personal experience using the Titan Fitness functional trainer over the past month has been uh, really, really positive. In fact, I'll be honest with you, I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. If you're new to the channel, my previous home gym experience or what I've been using to train with has been free weights, almost all free weights, kettlebells, barbells, you know, interchangeable dumbbells, and then um, basically body weight movements with a weighted vest, like pull-ups, push-ups, air squats. And I've certainly been getting the job done. Certainly no complaints there, but this, is a, this really gives me the feel that my home gym 
is almost identical to my local gym with these cabling system. The cabling system allows obviously for you to do biceps and triceps. That's without goes without saying, but it allows you to do back as well. I've been able to really hit back with regards to pull downs and with regards to rows for with a number of different angles and a number of different attachments. And we are going to speak about the attachments shortly. Um, so I, I'm able to hit back. And then if I want to do functional exercises, and that's really why they call it a functional trainer, this adds that ability, whether you want to do like wood choppers. I mean, listen, there's, there's like dozens and dozens of functional training exercises for, for fitness, for strength, for, for back recovery, for sports, all that stuff. And I'll be honest with you, I don't really use it for that. I use it for more of the bodybuilding lifestyle of biceps, triceps, back, flies. Oh, it was so nice to come back and do cable flies with cables versus dumbbells. I know you can do them with dumbbells, but for some reason it just doesn't feel the same way. Um, also, this comes with a pull-up bar um, and you can do pull-ups on there. And as we know, probably the pull-up is probably the number one back exercise. You can also hang TRX ropes from this if you have it. I'm able to hang my gymnastic rings finally from this and be able to do gymnastics pull-ups. I'm able to do gymnastic ring dips. I'm able to do gymnastic ring push-ups. I'm telling you, I have been thrilled with this purchase and it's not a small one. $2,000 is not a small one. So let's get into some of the bells and whistles with regards to what it comes with. Talk about what you're going to need and talk about why, how and why this differentiates from the ones at your local gym. So first and foremost, with regards to attachments, it comes with a lot of attachments. It does come with a rope attachment, and this is super long compared to the one that I previously had, uh, as you can see. Super, super long. And why do they give you the super long one? That's for the functional training, whether you're going to be doing like, you know, golf mimicking or axe handle type stuff. Listen, I don't know all the, all the funky, flashy names for them, but there are a ton of amazing exercises, and you are going to need a long rope. As far as handles, whether you're going to do flies or one-arm bicep curls, it came with two sets of handles. These nice metal ones are the ones that I prefer. They feel really good in the hand, and they're actually um, what I think is a fairly good quality, again, for the fact that they threw them in with the purchase. It came with the second set of handles. Now, these are a bit softer, um, and frankly, these, this type of handle, I never tend to like. I will say I've seen cheaper versions of this type of handle. So again, they didn't cheap out with the handles. It also comes with an ankle strap for any of you people, ladies, whoever that want to do that, you know, the, the, the booty blasting exercises that you can do with this. I will say just from the looks of it, and uh, this might surprise you, I'm not really looking to hit that booty on when I use this machine. This thing's pretty cheap, okay? So if you get this machine, you're probably gonna wanna get a, a secondary ankle strap for those, those exercises. Also, it comes with this bar that you can stick up here and that allows you to kind of do, you know, kind of like a bench press exercise. Also allows you to do a, a lat pull down exercise. It also comes with this bar as well. Uh, and again, that's more for functional exercises. And that's really what this machine is meant for is a functional exercise. But again, I've been using it more for the bodybuilding type lifestyle that I love to live. But if you're into functional fitness, it definitely has a lot of nice handles that come with it. One of the things I will say is when you get this type of piece of equipment, you can get your own handles. I've already got two handles ordered. It's 2020, so of course I gotta wait a while to come in. Uh, and those handles are really just more for me to do more biceps and tricep exercises, but you can order those handles and just simply clip them in. Let's talk about some of the cons or some of the differentiators with regards to this piece of equipment and you know the $5,000, $10,000 ones that you see at your local gym. And frankly, that's just durability, right? They know that as a home gym piece of equipment, you're probably going to use this at most once a day, right? You're, you're going to work out once a day, maybe, and use it, okay? I got my wife, my wife and I, between the two of us, are probably going to use this thing seven times a week, and something in a local gym is probably going to be used 30 or 40 times in a day. One of the pros and one of the cons for this Titan Fitness Functional Trainer is the weight stack, and from looking on compa comparable functional trainers, that tends to be a differentiator. That is the weight stack. This one comes in at 200 pounds per side. That is, for me, quite heavy. Probably my strongest exercise that I could do, I'm probably not even, I'm probably with, within, well, not even within 40 pounds of that 200 pound marker per side. I'm 185.61, and so it definitely is going to be enough or more than enough 
for my family. But clearly, if you're a 250 pound bodybuilder, this just isn't going to cut it for you. But you're probably not going to be watching this video anyway. Now, one of the cons with regards to the weight stack, and I think it's worth mentioning, and it is something that you will notice a difference between this one and maybe the one at your local gym, is that the increments of the weights are in 10 pound stacks. So if you're doing an exercise that you normally only can do 20 pounds in, something that's really uh, isolated, skipping to the next plate, which is 10 pounds heavier, is gonna be a big jump and it's gonna really feel super, super heavy, just percentage wise. So usually the ones at the local gym, they've got smaller increments or they give you ways to add in like two and a half or, or five pounds in between those weight stacks. This just, this just doesn't have it. What differentiates this $2,000 functional trainer from the eight or 10,000 version you see at your local gym? Listen, we know you're not gonna spend $2,000 and get the same version, so there has to be some shortcuts, and here they are. The finish on here is nice, it feels good, but it's not like super thick or super heavy duty. Same with the metal. Once this thing is in place, it's steady. It is rock steady, but clearly, the metal is not as thick or and the finish is not as thick as your local gym. Why? What does that mean? That means the potential for rust is higher. So as you can, you probably can see in some of the B-roll that I'm going to show up, I put these on horse stall mats and frankly, that's going to help keep the moisture away from the machine to keep the rust down. I also kept it away from the back wall. There is a gap back here that you, can, you can't see, but there is a gap. I can put my fingers in here. Again, the idea is to keep moisture away from the machine so that it won't prematurely rust. And I'm going to be running my dehumidifier, which you should do in a basement in New England. One of the pros with regards to this machine is the height. I'll put the dimensions over here, but I'm in a New England basement. I'm on a three quarter inch horse stall mat and I still have room between this and my, the top of my ceiling. So I'm able to easily do pull-ups um, without smacking my head on the ceiling and it's able to easily fit in my basement. And that's usually one of the problems that people have when they're trying to fit it into a smaller home gym environment is that height. And this one certainly fits with room to spare. Um, you can't see it because of the way the camera's angled, but I will put up again the dimensions. And obviously you wanna measure, measure your home space before you bring it in. And I would recommend keeping it off the floor, especially if you have it in a garage or a basement to kind of prevent that moisture from building up. I wanna quickly talk about expected maintenance on this piece of home gym equipment, and then have a discussion about how long I think this is going to last and where I think it might break. So first and foremost, when you get it, you're gonna to wanna to lubricate the rails and these slides with the silicon-based lubricant. It comes lubricated, but not enough. And then over time, once a month, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing so that the guide rails just run smooth. You're probably gonna need a second person to help you lubricate the slide, that's the rails down here, so that one person lifts it, and then the other person kind of sprays it gently with just a little bit of silicone lubricant. Also, over time, if you own this long enough and certainly use it enough, the cabling is going to simply go. The, the plastic covering is going to get frayed. It's gonna be need to be replaced. It can be done by one individual. I don't have the steps here. It's not the purpose of this video. And then in terms of lubricant, every so often, these these little pulleys are going to be need to be lubricated keep in mind you want to lubricate the ball bearings inside the pulleys not the actual surface of the pulley itself how long do i expect to have this in my home probably 10 years okay if i had to put a number on it if i had to guess i would probably have owned it for 10 years having done a few minor repairs with the cables and the pulleys and then decided that hey it's probably worth selling, getting some money back, and just purchasing the next newest functional trainer that's going to fit in this spot. Overall, I've been super happy with it. I think the value is through the roof. The fact that it fits in my basement is outstanding, and the price point is beneath all the other competition that I've been able to find, especially because it comes with free shipping. Um, listen, hopefully I answered your questions. If I didn't, drop a comment below. I will get any of your questions answered as best I can. Also, if you've come this far in the video, do me a favor, hit this like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see how this is installed and you want to save some time on your installation process of this thing, click on the video in the description below. And if you're going to buy this or you just want to see if it's in stock, click on that Titan Fitness affiliate link because it does help me out. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.